today we wanted to cover the Oklahoma proven plants that were selected for 2009. Each year we select an annual, a perennial, a shrub, and a tree that are worthy for the gardens in Oklahoma. This is kind of a marketing and educational program for consumers in Oklahoma so that they can be successful by knowing what kind of plants do really well throughout most of the state. For this year, the annual selection was the Diamond Frost Euphorbia. This is a wonderful little uh, plant that grows to about 18 inches to two feet. Nice mounding plant. It's very fine textured, has small leaves and these delicate little white flowers that bloom from spring until frost. It also does well in a mixed planting such as this and the branches will grow up through and among the other perennials and other plants in the garden which provides a nice effect and it works very well in container plantings. Now our perennial plant for the year is Mexican feather grass. This is a wonderful little uh, ornamental grass. This is one of my favorite. It's probably one of the finest textured grasses that, that's available. This is also a native to uh, the prairies of Texas and New Mexico and a native into south central parts of Mexico as well. Um, it grows about a foot and a half to two feet tall. It produces a silvery white plumes of flowers in the middle of the summer. And then it's just this wonderful soft textured plant throughout the year. It doesn't like to be cut back to the ground like most of the uh, other ornamental grasses. So in late winter, early spring before new growth starts coming in, cut back only about a third of it to rejuvenate it. It also can reseed itself in the garden, but it's not considered to be uh, invasive. The shrub for this year is the genus Aronia, or chokeberry. There are actually two species of Aronia that are very worthy for the landscape. There's Aronia arbutifolia, which is the red chokeberry, and Aronia melanocarpa, which is the black chokeberry. And obviously the only difference is the color of the berries. Now these are wonderful shrubs that are, that are adaptable to a wide range of soil conditions. They grow from six to 10 feet tall. They have uh, white spring flowers, the colorful berries that develop on them later on in the, in the year, a wonderful uh, summer foliage, and then in the fall they can turn a brilliant red and orange colored as well. Now if you notice on these, the, the, lower, the lower part of the plant is actually a little sparse, and that's very natural for this plant to, to develop this way. And so this makes a good plant to have a ground covers and some maybe low-growing perennials and shrubs underneath, other, other low-growing shrubs underneath it. Now these plants are also known for suckering, which means they will develop small colonies uh, wherever they are planted, which again is good for naturalizing and inviting wildlife to the garden. Now the red chokeberry, there's actually a, a cultivar called Brilliant, Brilliantissima, which is known for its bright red berries and wonderful red fall color. The black chokeberry is also known for high levels of antioxidants, which can also be used for uh, wine as well as jams. The tree for this year is the Arizona cypress, Cupressus arizonica. This is actually a native of southwestern United States, so this indicates that this is a good plant for hot, dry conditions such as we have in western Oklahoma, but it will also do well in eastern parts of Oklahoma as long as it has very well-drained soils. Now this tree in the landscape will get 20 to 25 feet tall and about 15 feet wide. It can actually get taller than that, than that in, the, in the, its native habitat. Uh, the species has gray-green foliage, but as you can see, there are also some blue foliage cultivars, like this one, which is called Blue Ice, and recently they've introduced some yellow foliage forms as well. As the tree matures, the bark exfoliates, revealing mottled colors of burnt orange and green. For more information about these plants and other plants that have been selected for the Oklahoma Proven Program, please visit our website. <music>